I'm Darren Haley, and I'm a civil engineer. I'm Nathan Thompson, I'm a chemical engineer. I'm Blaine Garner, and I'm an aerospace engineer. I'm Luke Anderson, and I'm a mechanical engineer. And we are the Marcus Four, and this is Marcus Five. Um, so, to talk about the design process. The design process is unique for everybody. We came through the des uh, engineering design process by just looking at ideas that we thought would be cool and really test our engineering uh, analysis and our engineering skills. Um, we decided on a robot spider after a few weeks of debate going back and forth from is it too easy versus too hard, too complicated, or just ideas that people were not interested in. We then moved it along and developed our first working pro our first prototype design, um, which was very simple. It was just a leg on a wheel that spun um, slowly and made it move almost similar to an RC car. However, that concept in reality would not have worked as well just because it only had one point of contact at all times um, with only eight points of contact um, throughout the entire process of all eight legs moving. Um, which would have made it a little bit unstable. We then moved on to Mark II, which was our first real breakthrough. Um, we took that idea and we, we really built on it, adding um, a joint that fixed it into place. Uh, it moved very nicely um, in the SolidWorks design. However, uh, upon further inspection, we realized that it was not going to work. Um, Mark III was just an improvement on Mark II, Mark IV, we really had to redesign the leg after the failure. It showed us that we had multiple critical failures inside of the leg. Um, for Mark V, it was just fully putting every single process together, um, taking the leg designs that we already had and implementing them so that they worked in a fluid, systematic way. So, my advice for first year engineering students would be to get on it early and also not to bite off more than you can chew because we really took this project to the limits. We tried everything and in the end it did pay out for us. Um, we did get second place at Fed, but in the end, was it worth it to spend uh, 60 plus hours um, working on a project that is a one credit hour class. Just be careful of what you have in mind and how you want to do this in a timely manner. So SolidWorks and CAD was extremely uh, necessary for our project because each piece of the body and the legs were designed in CAD to then convert into STL t files to 3D print them. Um, GC120 was a huge help with this. Um, me and Blaine had already taken it, so we had a lot of experience designing things in CAD and then uh, making them into a reality. Um, so for me, I designed a lot of the leg parts and the body. The, the main struggle with that was actually getting the dimensions right because we had to fit that half a meter on each side for our animatronic project. Um, so actually translating that real life space into CAD uh, was a challenge, especially when we never really had a full prototype unless it was made out of Legos, which didn't exactly correlate with what we were doing. So if I had any specific advice for freshmen coming in on what to do, I would definitely get uh, familiar with CAD. And um, if you're going to need that for your project, it is a huge help and um, it definitely helped us out. So for our 3D printing process, we use the 3D printers at the Makerspace and DHL Library. And they actually have two different types of 3D printers. Um, one is a little more precise than others, which is the Prusa software. So we use those type of 3D printers to print our gears to make sure that things were aligned very properly and the gear ratios were accurate. And then we ended up using those 3D printers for a lot more other things like our legs um, because they were open and they had slightly bigger plates. So that was very useful. And we had our 3D printing plan done before spring break. So um, thankfully we were able to right after spring break before the rush came in for all the other Fed projects, we were able to get on those good Prusa software 3D printers and get our, um, our project printed with a lot of extra pieces.
All right, I'll be talking about the design process of the, the visual aspect of our creepy animatronic spider bear thing. So right off the bat, we decided that we wanted to make something scary, which is how we settled on spider, because let's be real, most of us rational people are creeped out by spiders. Now, then we wanted to make it more interesting, because, you know, spiders are fun and they're mechanically complex, but there's, it's a spider, you know, we've all seen that. So one of us had the idea of shoving a teddy bear on top of it to hide the mechanics and to creep people out even more, because, you know, teddy bears are a popular children's toy, but they also have soulless black eyes. So it's like taking something wholesome and just corrupting it and twisting it so that it has spider legs coming out of it and it's scary now. So that was the idea. We all, we all thought it was both hilarious and it would be really scary. So I developed a bit of a rough sketch and it was a proof of concept. And, you know, the original idea was for the body of the bear to house the body of the spider. And so long a while later, we had built the spider and we bought a teddy bear that we thought would be the right size. And we cut it open with a knife, ripped out all the stuffing, and realized that it was still way too small to actually fit. So what we ended up doing was just, you know, cutting off the teddy bear's head, as you can see in this little clip right here, and sticking it on top of the spider. So at this point, it had evolved into a bit of a more Toy Story, SIDS creation type thing. But it was still unique, and, you know, I think it still got the spirit of the idea across. And, yeah, now regarding the art design of the poster itself and some of the blueprints we created, well... We wanted them to look like blueprints. It was kind of a way to appeal to the professional audience and the general audience at the same time. And so that's what we did. It made it look kind of not futuristic, but like scientific and fancy, but also just visually appealing. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.